And we're back. Welcome back, guys. I'm Christian Beyer coming to you from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I have another toolbox tour for you guys today. We're going to check out this Snap-on Epic as well as the Snap-on Epic roll cart. This is the setup that we use in the automotive shop uh, where I work at on the side uh, outside of Caterpillar, uh, the Caterpillar dealership that I work at. Uh, before we get into this toolbox tour, we're actually going to take care of some business real quick and then we'll get right into this toolbox. All right, guys, business. So, first thing, if you guys like me or my content that I have here on YouTube, uh, feel free to follow me on my Instagram. I will put the Instagram handle down in the description. Uh, I might put a drop down button here somewhere, whatever. Um, go follow me on my IG. Uh, I'm real active on there. I post a lot of stories uh, while I'm working on cars at the cat dealership, whatever. Um, so if you guys want to follow along with my daily life, that's where you would do that. Um, also, if you guys like this tool content, uh, go ahead and drop a like on this video at some point. Um, you might want to make sure that the content's worth liking. There's a lot of people that don't really like this stuff. At least it seems so in the comments, guys, right? So that takes care of today's work. Um, jumping back in time a year ago is when I uploaded my first toolbox tour and that is the first video on my channel um, I'm sure most people watching this have probably seen it uh, that video did extremely well thanks to you guys um, you know commenting on it liking it watching it uh, most of all and so I appreciate that thank you guys uh, for everybody that was supportive in that video um, the people that did not support it or seemed to hate it Yep, yep, they just wanted to seem like they hated it because they were supporting it by commenting on it and hitting the dislike button, therefore promoting the video in the YouTube algorithm, and I got more support out of it. So I also appreciate you guys. Thank you for not supporting me by, by thank you for supporting me by not supporting me. I appreciate that, guys. Um, I wanted to address a couple of the things that seem to be hot topics in the comments i enjoy the comment section so much so first thing uh one of the most common things was the amount of debt i have oh uh i actually own my entire setup outright um i don't believe in debt i'd rather keep my money when i get paid so uh for those of you that have doubts about that um I did come up with um, this formula, and it's kind of what I've done in my life. I should be selling this as a business program, probably make more money off of it. But uh, So this formula is kind of how I was able to, you know, do what I do, uh, mechanic, uh, fix cars and heavy equipment, and make a bunch of money and be able to own my entire previous setup, um, you know, in that toolbox tour video. So... Uh, this formula, it's real complicated here. Basically, I work really hard. That's the first part of the formula. Um, I work anywhere from 60 to 80 hour weeks for the past um, four or five years now. And I keep doing that. And it makes you a lot of money. Yeah. The, the two subcategories in that formula are... Um, attitude having a good attitude and attention to detail because people like to pay you a lot of money when you work hard have a good attitude and have attention to detail so that's all i wrote down for the formula anyway guys um the second thing i wanted to address this is the last thing i want to address and then we'll get into the toolbox tour the toolbox tour video that we're talking about from previous that most everybody saw if you haven't seen it go back and watch uh the very first video on my channel it's hard to miss big combat green box with black trim um one of the next biggest topics was how new the tools were uh yes when i filmed that a year ago i would say about 80 percent of the tools were less than 24 months old um I had gotten myself established in the industry at the cat dealership um, for the first two or three years I was working there. 
and I almost bought no tools that whole time. I was just getting established and um, getting ready to go out and spend a lot of money on tools. So when I was ready, I went and spent a lot of money on tools while I was a single guy and able to do that. And here we are today. So let's get into this toolbox tour. Thanks for listening to me babble. All right, let's get started. We have kind of a, just a tray of random car parts and shit, thermometer, random shit, tape measure sitting back here. We have a jumper pack sitting up in there. Um, the rest of that over there is just receipts and billing stuff, so no need to look at that. This neck light, snap on neck light, um, knockoff GoPro, some random shit nasty fork for some reason this is all just like spare parts um just kind of a collection of bolts and copper washer shit like that that um is nice to have on hand in the lock power top whatever you want to call it uh we keep the solace edge in here uh we keep a computer in here pens um more or less that's about it i would go to the top of the box but there's not really a lot of point other than these two propane torches. We don't really keep much up here. We store some shop cloths and some parts trays and bubbles for putting in water and checking for leaks. But other than that, it's just old boots and gloves and old spark plugs and storage cases. It's nothing you want to see. So next up, let's start on the locker here. Just a snap on set of screwdrivers. Uh, cheap i'm gonna guess harbor freight torx t-handles almost never use those um just some random oils and lubricants um, butane things like that this top drawer is almost nothing to see um, other than we have our air chuck up here there's a lot of just paperwork old abs sensors parts i don't even know half the shit that's up here um, there's one case up here. I'm actually curious what this is. Oh my God. What the fuck? Oh, it's tap and die set. Cheap ass tap and die set. Look at that, the things you find when you do a toolbox tour. All right, next drawer down. Um, snap on bore scope older version we have a maco ball joint service set just the basic service set a couple adapters in it uh, this is an astro uh, ball joint additional set basically we haven't i don't think there's been any ball joints we weren't able to do between these two sets so that's pretty well covered us um, this is a bearing, this case is heavy as fuck, this is a bearing um, press kit, uh, we don't use it a ton, it's nice for the adapter plates in the actual hydraulic press. Um, this is the relay test kit uh, by Blue Point. We have this off-brand Orion MotorTech disc caliper tool. This comes in handy, obviously, for the wind-in calipers. Uh, what else we got here? Grease adapter set. This is real handy for those hard-to-get-to grease adapters. Went in that already. Uh, some notebooks, headlight buff kits we keep in here. Uh, some tape, cloth for headlights. This is a Napa service tool. What is this? Oh, the spark plug, the 5-4 spark plug, broken spark plug removal kit. So that basically covers what's in this drawer. All right, so digging in here. We have, uh, first up, this is the power steering pulley puller kit. An installer kit, just an ever tough, I don't know, it came from a parts store. We have the Matco compression tester kit. Oh, 
this compression tester kit. We have a quick release kit by uh, Ratchet Master. Uh, I've never used anything like this before. I've never had a need for it. So I have no idea why or what that is all about, but there's that. We have a harmonic balancer and pulley puller set by Mac Tools. Um, just the master set, pretty nice set. Use that quite a bit. Uh, we have the add-on power probe set here. This is like the diagnostic tracer kit. Um, it has the transmitter receiver and then the piercing probe um, and then a bunch of adapters for it. Um, get it open here but that's that there for tracing wire brakes cheap OBD2 scanner um, we never use it it just sits in here Matco fuse saver kit and get it open that's that kit there and that is it for this shelf all right, this drawer, we have the power probe case that's empty. We have the amp clamp adapter. Um, I'm not gonna dig this mess all out of here, but this is for plugging into your multimeter. Uh, goes up to like 2000 amps, so it's a pretty handy tool. Um, we have a cheap, not cheap, but an old blue point multimeter in here that doesn't get used too much. A light bulb for load testing on circuits. Uh, snap-on meter we have the power probe in here uh, this is the power probe 3 we have a spark tester the amp hound 2 uh, I've never personally used this I don't know if anybody has here it doesn't look like it but it's here uh, the pokey pokey um, voltage tester we have some test leads and this is oh this is the snap-on case for the multimeter pretty much just an electrical drawer kind of packed in here so that's what that is all right third drawer uh, fourth drawer whatever it is uh, all right this is more of an extension of the electrical we have a torch. Uh, we have the power probe torch. This is actually my go-to. I really like this one. Uh, a lot more control over your heat. Uh, we have calipers, digital calipers in here. Those, I don't even know what brand they are. Pretty standard. And that's just the case for this torch. We have a scope. Uh, some random leads, fused leads trailer tester, uh, terminal tool set. We have some solder, some light bulbs, batteries, another load tester setup, uh, digital um, dial in, or not digital, dial indicator, uh, arm and meter over there. Yeah, just a bunch of junk, some random keys. Not too cool of stuff in here fuse tester yep that's what's in here up next we have the air vac we have the UV light uh, glasses for that just one of the cases for the DeWalt uh, power tools we'll get to here we have a heat gun uh, an engraver and a plastic welding set plastic welding rods here but yeah, that's the extent of this drawer. On to the next. I probably shouldn't even bother showing drawers like this because this is just sad. I'm not even sure I want to be associated with it with this kind of thing, but this is just a junk collection. I can't tell you the last time I even opened this drawer. Uh, we got some exhaust clamps, some washers, some solenoids, uh, switches, I guess modules that are busted open yeah this is a sad drawer we're gonna stop looking at it 
All right, so that takes care of this locker. Let's move on next to the power drawer. We have the 20 volt half inch drive, DeWalt impact, not by choice. Uh, I obviously choose Milwaukee, but that's what's in here. We have the 3 8 impact old beat up thing. We have the impact driver. We have the drill. And then we have the uh, digital temp gun. This thing's really great for checking brake rotors after we test drive brake jobs. We have the stubby or regular neck quarter drive snap on electric ratchet. We have the long neck quarter drive electric ratchet and the 3 8 drive long neck uh, ratchet. We have an old magnetic light that never gets used in here. Uh, drill master, a drill master light that never gets used uh, and it's battery. Snap on charger. Uh, we have the DeWalt chargers over there. And then we also have this DeWalt grease gun, which doesn't get used all that much either. And that is what is in the power drawer. Now, let's move into the drawer that everyone's obviously here to see. The top drawer of the box with all the sockets. So, starting on this end here. Snap-on quarter drive set. This thing gets used all the time, daily basis. We have the snap-on impact driver set. We have just a Pittsburgh set of half-inch drive swivel sockets, universal sockets. Uh, I'm guessing never used or rarely used Pittsburgh uh, hex sockets. Here we have the Astro 12-point set of uh, CV axle sockets. We almost never use these other than the random times we come across 12 point. You'll see later we actually have a six point set that we use the most. Back here, this is the wheel uh, lug lock kit for all the different wheel lug locks. Over here, we have six point uh, standard deep and shallow snap on sockets, uh, deep and shallow metric sockets. Uh, those are in 3 8 drive. We have, uh, I believe these are actually Craftsman 12 point half inch drive in uh, metric and standard. And then we have a quarter drive set of Craftsman 12 point um, uh, standard sockets. 3 8 drive 12 point Craftsman, again, uh, metric and standard. So those are the chrome sockets, metric and standard over there. Uh, these are the, what are they, the Snap-on FDX uh, metric quarter drive, deep, shallow. We have a spark plug, a couple of spark plug sockets here actually. Uh, radiator fin uh, redresser. We have a stud puller. Back here we have a couple of spanner sockets, some triple square sockets that we use uh, you know, whenever we come across that German stuff. Uh, some random, th random uh, snap-on three-quarter drive sockets, just random sizes, uh, basically picked up the ones we needed as we worked. Uh, same thing, 12-point big socket there. Uh, this is kind of unique. It's a 19 millimeter hex, internal hex socket, half-inch drive. This thing's solid all the way through. Uh, I've never seen it used and it doesn't look like it's been used much but it must have been needed for something. Oil filter uh, wrenches back here, some tiny little screwdrivers. I've actually come across a couple of cases where these were pretty handy to have. Uh, we have some hand or palm ratchets here, all three drives. We have a quarter uh, hex bit driver. Um, this is a torque stick adapter or extension, I guess. Um, we have the stretch fit belt tool here. A couple more oil filter sockets. This is a tray of adapters, so three quarter to half inch, half inch, three eighths, all, just all of them. Um, this here is more like the hex bit adapter tray, so we got a bunch of different hex bit adapters for in the impact driver. Cheap, doesn't look like it was ever used, Pittsburgh adapter set. 
Uh, this is for checking for blow by in motors. Uh, what else we got in here? We have the coolant uh, refractometer kit there. And then we also have a bit set here. Just a cheap bit set. Going back over here to the middle real quick, uh, I missed this micro bit set. Uh, honestly, don't know why we have it out here, but that's there. Um, torque adapters, we have metric, uh, not torque adapters, crow's feet. We have metric crow's feet, standard crow's feet, uh, flare nut 12 point uh, crow's feet. These are snap-on. These are real expensive and real nice. Uh, don't find a need for them often, but they are handy to have. We have uh, metric and standard uh, Allen sockets here. Uh, a couple of, there's an E-Torx e and then a normal, it's actually a security Torx. A couple of sizes or, or oversized sizes there. Cannot talk. We have, these are actually unique, uh, well no, these are the standard T30 Torx bits, and then these Torx bits, bits are actually a tight fit uh, Torx bit. Uh, it's the T, well this is the T50W, which stands for a tight fit. Um, they're from Snap-on. They're kind of a pain sometimes, but when you get a worn out uh, Torx bolt or screw whatever you want to call it it is handy to have that little bit of a tighter fit we have some longer torque sockets here um, these are some random 12 point uh, sockets that don't get used too much drive shaft sockets uh, this is for in uh, cat motors uh, jake brakes i believe is what that socket's for there i think it's a three quarter these I can grab it. Our Craftsman half inch triple square, uh, internal triple squares. Um, we have some tap sockets here. Internal or the E Torx uh, impacts and then the e, uh, security Torx impacts here. Uh, standard universal impact sockets, standard deep and shallow impact sockets, uh, a couple of random 12 point universals here, um, metric universal impacts, deep and shallow, three, and this is all 3 eighths on this tray here, so then uh, metric, deep and shallow, and these are all snap on impacts, these are also all snap on impacts, we have uh, standard deep half inch and then metric deep half inch, uh, and then shallow standard and metric over here. Uh, and then a couple of oddball universals, just cheap junk, uh, some half inch 12 point uh, sockets back there. Up in the front of the box here we have, this is the axle nut socket set that we actually use the most, the six point set. Under it we have an OEM tools, um, alignment set for the aligning your wheels and your brake rotors on cars with lug bolts instead of lug nuts. We have an ATD, a cheap Allen set here. Great big master set. Just some China, China stuff. This is a Mac tie rod adjuster tool set there. And that takes care of the top drawer. Moving on to the next. Next drawer down. Uh, starting on this side, we have Allen keys, metric standard, some Torx. We have some uh, transmission line disconnects, fuel line disconnects, uh, extended reach hose clamp tool from Snap-on, pretty handy. Mini wrenches. A uh, bunch more Allen keys back here, more Allen keys, stubby, cheap Pittsburgh wrenches. Uh, yeah, these are all metric here. Uh, some Craftsman with a mix of Snap-on uh, flare nut wrenches for brake lines. 
Back here we have some Expert by Mac box end ratcheting wrenches. These are just the straight ones here. These are in standard. Uh, let's see. Random pry bar, some alignment bars here. These are, I have no idea what that brand is. Uh, ladies feet, full set of ladies feet here. Another Stanley pry bar. More for like wood type stuff, same thing here, but I guess it comes in useful. Uh, we have a seal puller, a few more pry bars. This goes, where is the other piece of it? Right here, serpentine belt tooling. Big old junky three quarter drive ratchet. Got some mini, these are actually pretty handy. These are from Snap-on. Some mini trim tools. They're plastic trim tools, real hard. Um, they're actually pretty durable, pretty impressive. Speed handle, never gets used. Uh, this is the actual three quarter ratchet that we use. This is a Snap-on one. On the rare occasion on a vehicle that we need it. Pretty handy tool right here. These are uh, Mac pry bars um, there's that one and this one here which is a little bit of a different angle on it so that's those got some a handful of trim tools over on this side here uh, some flat ones these I believe came from Mac they're not even labeled Mac though so an assortment of those uh, great big pry bar here but great big snap-on pry bar a little bit smaller snap-on pry bar. Hood prop. Terminal tool. Uh, some snap-on quarter drive extensions. These are just Pittsburgh wobble extensions. Uh, just a Pittsburgh multiple angle ratchet. A bunch of extra extensions you'll see in the side cart where most of these kind of tools that we actually use on a daily basis are this is kind of overflow and extra so a lot of these are like pittsburgh extensions just kind of cheap shit uh back here cheap breaker bar some cheap craftsman ratchets so that's that this is the breaker bar end for the three-quarter ratchet i think that takes care of this drawer Next drawer down, we have all of the angle wrenches and some of the oversized wrenches. Uh, so this is a Pittsburgh set, um, two inch down to inch and three eighths. And then this is other smaller angle wrenches. And we go from inch and an eighth down to three eighths. And then this is the metric set that goes from eight to 24. And then we have you know, inch and a quarter, inch and five sixteenths, inch and a sixteenth, inch and an eighth, inch and three eighths, and a couple small adjustable wrenches. But that's the angle wrench drawer. Next one down, we have pliers. We have some extra long needle nose pliers, Pittsburgh. Uh, these are Mac hog nose, needle nose, and then another a set of assorted Mac uh, regular needle nose, just some long ones. Brake tools, uh, mini, these are I think Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh as well, uh, mini needle nose. We have some uh, snap-on internal snap ring uh, pliers there, two sets of them. Long, these are like uh, surgical crimpers I forget what they're called exactly but these actually come in handy sometimes when you lose something way down in there you can grab it and hang on to it real tight uh, snap on adjustable needle nose or not needle nose but snap ring pliers we have vice grips in here for some reason this knife not really sure what that's for uh, some disconnects some more dis uh, plastic and metal disconnects uh, vice grips vice grips some end cutters tin snips Snap-on hose picks. Uh, we have got the long ones and the short ones, the full set. Some Mac uh, hose cutters. Uh, let's see. PWZs. These are actually pretty handy. I do have to say in my last toolbox tour, 
I made a comment about how much I love my Nipex ones, and I really do, but they, don't, they each have their own application, I think is my upgraded opinion on them. Uh, Nipex, these are for like CV axle uh, bands for crimping them in place. Uh, spark plug boot pliers, some hose pinch offs, cheap side cutters, the more needle nose, and that pretty much covers this drawer. Next drawer down, we have more electrical stuff. So we've got some bulk wire there, some shrink wrap, a bunch of different light bulbs, assorted light bulbs, fuses, crimp on connectors, um, shrink wrap, more crimp connectors, more crimp connectors, and solder crimp connectors, which isn't something I've generally used, but these little crimp on connectors is what you'd put on wires, crimp them in place, and then shrink wrap over top of them. Um, just another way of doing it. We've got some electrical tools here, some um, large cable cutters, some strippers, crimpers, a stripper cutter tool, another set of crimpers, some tape, alligator clip assortment, uh, some random pinning and pin out uh, pins and literal pins like safety pins there's more of them there it's one way of doing it a uh, bunch of relays and sensors got some fuses random light bulbs tape and wrap um, dielectric grease some old fuses and relays connectors just an assortment of junk basically it's a pretty standard electrical drawer so that's what we have in here. All right, here is a fun drawer. This is not the drawer you want to go to. So we have the Snap-on 76 piece tap and die set in metric. Pretty standard set made by Irwin. Uh, back here, we have a Snap-on bolt extractor set made by Irwin. Underneath of that, we have the Rethreader kit. This is also snap on. We have some random pullers in here for different situations. Ring compressor for pistons. We have a flip socket set, or no, this is a lug nut, spun off lug nut set. This, I don't even know who makes this. Um, blue point, this is a blue point set. So that's there. We have a Mac Stubby drill bit set. This is actually pretty handy. Comes in pretty handy. We have the screw, ugh, screw extractor set with left handed bits. By snap on. We have the snap on carbide bit set there. Uh, this is the Walton broken tap extractor set. They work on occasion, but not all that often. Let's put it that way. Uh, this is the spindle rethreader kit. This is actually made by Lang tools. This is the snap on one though. Uh, what do we got here? Random bit set. Uh, this is actually screw extractors. Interesting. They've got uh, the turbo teeth in them, but they're for a hex driver bit. So you got those, a puller here, some more screw extractors. These are Mac. Just the twist in, hammer in, twist out version. We have a bunch of thread insert kits here. The helicoil kits. Uh, back here we have, I, these, oh, these are burr bits, mini burr bits. These are uh, eighth drive burr bits and quarter drive burr bits. Um, this is another set of 
burr bits. They're like diamond tip burr bits. Got those there. Back here we have stud installers. That's what both these sets are. It's a metric and standard set of these locking stud installers and removers. And that, I believe, is everything in this drawer. In the next drawer down, kind of a mess as well. We have our 3 8 and our quarter tech angle wrenches in here. Torque wrenches, we have our click type uh, torque wrench, the beam torque wrench, tie rod tool, uh, some C clamps, threaded pickle fork with the rest of the adapters in here, uh, hub puller. We have some Craftsman uh, ratcheting wrenches and then some Craftsman um, larger wrenches from like 20 to 24 in here. We have another harmonic balancer puller kit, just the small version of it. Uh, some more C clamps. Can't remember what these were for exactly. There's some type of puller. Don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, the only icon tools we have that actually I don't believe have ever been used, they are these stubby ratcheting wrenches sitting back there. A bunch of random moon wrenches. Uh, just These are Mako ones. And then we have some cheap craftsman small wrenches back there. Uh, and then batteries. We have, oh yeah, we also have these uh, 60 degree offset cheap, they don't even have a brand on them, metric wrenches. Some, uh, some stamping, steel stamping letters there. Uh, some big punches, a gasket punch set, punching out some gaskets. And I think that's everything in here. In the bottom drawer, we have a cooling system pressure um, tester. This is the pneumatic pressure tester kit. This is by Matco. We have a cheap Harbor Freight, real small slide hammer set here. Uh, we have an OTC brake line uh, master kit here for flaring. Strap wrench, this is a snap-on strap wrench. Uh, specialty tooling, this is the 97 to 2005 Ford vacuum seal installer. We have a large rivet gun. We have a brake line bender. This is like a harmonic balancer pulley holder. Uh, basically just a strap wrench. Uh, big pipe wrench, even bigger pipe wrench. Some little pipe wrenches. Uh, this is the tie rod tool. I think this one's from Harbor Freight. This is the inner tie rod tool. Uh, and then back here we have a slide hammer, a large slide hammer set. Pretty standard set right there. Orifice tube service uh, kit. This is uh, the Mac one. And I believe that completes this drawer as well. All right, last section of drawers in this box, uh, top drawer, kind of a junk collect all drawer. We have a lot of different business cards from different businesses, uh, magnet, magnet uh, mirror, some Schrader valve tools, little ruler, some flashlights, pressure checker, tired pressure checkers in here, uh, thermometer, highlighters, uh, some feeler gauges, Random keys, yeah, uh, garage door openers. That's basically what's in that drawer. Next drawer down, we have long seal picks from Snap-on, some cheap seal picks. These are probably from Harbor Freight. Pounding pistons in and out, just a chunk of wood here. 
Uh, these are some Starrett punches, really nice punches. Some, I believe, snap-on, standard set of snap-on, yep, punches. Needle file set down there. These are a bunch of random uh, brass punches and some Harbor Freight, I think Pittsburgh punch sets. Uh, the rest of the Starrett punches. We've got a couple of pieces of stock in here, just steel stock for making punches out of or using as punches. Big race punch here. Uh, this is a set of Harbor Freight files, full set in here. Um, tire repair, brake spring tool. This is kind of an interesting tool. This tool here is for bending uh, brake dust shields back. Um, you know, put them on, put them through the wheel spokes. If you got a brake shield that's rubbing on the rotor, put it up between the rotor and the brake shield and uh, bend it away from the rotor. That's kind of cool. Uh, some scrapers, uh, yeah, tire repair stuff, and that's what's in this drawer. Next drawer down, we have oil filter service uh, wrenches. We have a couple of specialty Detroit wrenches here. Uh, we have all the um, band wrenches, all the different sizes, some wire brushes, battery terminal cleaner, um, the pliers, the oil wrench, oil filter pliers. Yep, a couple of random screwdrivers. And that's pretty much everything in this drawer. This drawer is another kind of catch-all drawer. We've got some lifting brackets in it. Uh, these are just some cheap uh, Pittsburgh punches that don't really get used. Uh, bolts and washers for the lifting brackets. Um, chains. This is a bushing driver set from Snap-on for really small bushings. But, yep, that's that set there. Uh, that's everything in that drawer. Last drawer in this box, we have AC flush unit for flushing out AC lines and systems. Uh, this is the other vacuum seal installer for the 2006 uh, through, uh, I'm not even sure what year it goes up through on the Ford Super Duty for the vacuum seals and the knuckles. Vacuum brake bleeder, use it for transmission uh, suck and fills. And we got a bunch of hoses in there and adapters for it. This is the AC, or AC, the cooling system vacuum filler. Uh, we got a couple of hoses for that. We have some uh, strut spring compressors. A bunch of ratchet straps um, and then this brake caliper this dual piston brake caliper compressor that is everything that we keep in this drawer all right so we just got done seeing the big box going through everything that we keep in that box now we're going to go through the cart that sits here we use these tools on a daily basis this is kind of the go-to stuff when we work during the day the top of this thing is covered in tools and parts and whatnot and it's just not convenient to come in here and get tool storage out um, so we don't actually keep anything other than this dewalt sawzall that almost never gets used uh, in here and this pretty much stays shut for the most part over here on the side of the cart, we do have a couple of these pieces of foam for kneeling mats in order to protect our knees. And then we have a creeper over here. So with that being said, we'll head down into the drawers. First drawer, uh, starting over here on the right side, we have some oddball extensions uh, that are just like flexible. This is kind of cool. You can reach down in. Uh, this end has a Schrader valve end in on it. And then this is just open, but it's a flexible rubber end that you can like fit like a 10 mil bolt head or an 8 mil bolt head and get it started down in a spot you just can't reach. Uh, so that's kind of a handy tool. Uh, we also have a flexible extension for hex drive bits uh, and then a grabber tool over here. Big long boy uh, snap on flex head ratchet. And then we also have the uh, breaker bar. A little bit shorter straight head half inch drive the long straight head uh, 3 8 drive the regular flex head 3 8 shorter 3 8 stubby flex head 3 8 uh, extra long locking head 
uh, th uh, quarter drive, and then the regular quarter drive, and then the long straight head quarter drive. A couple of these easy red uh, flexible drivers with the quarter end and the uh, quarter socket end. We have a couple of these cheap Pittsburgh utility knives, razor blade scraper, uh, these blue point hex drivers, uh, slack adjuster set, some greasers for greasing the air tools, a couple of ice grips that get used, some flush cuts for zip ties, blow gun, uh, some short seal picks. These are snap on wobble extensions. And then uh, those are all three eighths. And then we have three eighths uh, impact extensions, a full set from an inch and a half up to 12 inches and then uh, snap on impact uh, half inch drive extensions. Uh, pliers, the long uh, cutters, side cutters, uh, short side cutters, some shitty snap on uh, channel locks, the high grip strength, whatever they're called, pliers from snap on, needle nose. So. That's everything in this top drawer. This is one of the most used drawers that we have. Um, we're in this drawer all the time during the day. The next drawer down, we'll go ahead. Um, we have a snap-on set of combination metric and standard wrenches, a large adjustable. We have some six-point combination wrenches, 10 millimeter and 3 eighths for uh, bleeding brakes. Um, Craftsman ratcheting wrenches. Uh, just cheap we this is the metric expert um, box end ratcheting wrenches we have 15 13 and 10 um, these are a couple of the most commonly used four-way angles that we keep in this box out of the other box and then these are standard uh, flexible ratcheting wrenches from gear wrench uh, I've honestly never even used those. I don't know why they're still in this box, but they are. In this drawer, we have a uh, pneumatic polisher. That's the box for it. Um, lug stud, uh, hub cleaner, a lot of consumables, wire brushes, sanding pads, grinding discs. Uh, we have a 90 degree pencil grinder from Cornwell die grinder wrenches we have some air nozzle adapters uh, scraper blades for the pneumatic scraper uh, this is our drill bit set that we use on a regular basis so we've got some uh, some step bits in here and then just a whole selection of random sizes of drill bits that's just how that kind of is uh, we got a blow nozzle in here extended chuck die grinder pad holder and I think that's everything in this drawer more or less kind of a mess of a drawer to be honest next one down is our air tool drawer we have a central pneumatic um, earthquake three-quarter gun uh, three-eighths gun snap on air hammer uh, a lot of these die grinders are Mac uh, these are all Mac blue point some cheap pneumatic air scraper, Matco, I think, or nope, that's Mac there too. Mac right angle drill, um, and then another air drill there. This is a Mac 3 8 gun, and then the IR half inch gun. A couple more die grinders here, and then just a, we have a bunch of air hammer bits, those are all in here too. And then obviously there's some consumables in here and adapters, but that's our air tool drawer. That's pretty much what we keep in there. This drawer, this is all hammers. We have snap on rubber mallet, um, ball peen hammers. Uh, I don't even know the brand here. Nice four pound sledge, couple pound sledge there. Rubber mallet, this is a Pittsburgh rubber mallet. Uh, brake caliper compressor. A uh, bunch of brake caliper hangers. Uh, got a handful. There's a big oil filter wrench here, and then uh, big channel locks, a little bit smaller channel locks, and then snap on pry bars. These are the ones that we kind of go to. So this drawer also gets used quite a bit. Moving down to the last drawer, almost nothing in here. 
Uh, we do keep this big pair of blue point um, bolt cutters, a couple more ratchet straps, some bungee cords for holding stuff up out of the way. We have this chain here for lifting engines out and then a grinder with a wire wheel on it. All right, guys. So that concludes the toolbox tour. Um, this is what we use on a regular basis. Uh, we use these tools every day. These tools have been, most of them have been in service for uh, somewhere between 12 and 15 years. So this is a very used set of tools. Uh, we use them, we abuse them. Uh, you know, this is a get done, get shit done kind of atmosphere in here. Uh, so these tools, uh, these are owned by the shop, the guy that owns this garage. Uh, they are not my tools. If you get, uh, guys made it through the video this far, I really appreciate your guys' time watching this video. Um, if you haven't yet, feel free to hit that uh, subscribe button, hit the like button. Like I said in the beginning of the video, go follow me on IG. Um, I'm active on there every day pretty much while I'm working and kind of show what my day in the life is like. Um, also, uh, turn on your notifications. I don't upload on YouTube near as much as I do on Instagram and things like that. So uh, it would help you get notified when I do do toolbox tours like this or other stuff. Uh, I do do live videos from time to time. So that'd be another way of knowing when I'm doing those. So I appreciate your guys' time. Uh, I know these toolbox tours take a lot of time. I try to do my best and do a really thorough job on them. So again, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you and have a good day.